Road rage in Bangalore can be extreme sometimes. In this video captured by dash cam, it had rained and water gathered in puddles in some parts of the road. Hence, many drivers tried to avoid those places. This driver, however, decided to speed through and, in the process, splashed water on the motorist and his passenger. Instead of stopping to apologize, the driver unreasonably drove off. The biker chased after the car, getting in front of it and successfully getting the car to stop. The motorist walked up to the car and damaged the mirror, while the driver kept insisting on their rights. Passers-by eventually gathered and some blamed the driver. <laughs> This guy was testing his stunt bike on a back road after fixing it. He dropped off his girlfriend and was having a go at the bike, but then his body cam captured an old man standing in the middle of the road. He slowed down and tried to get off the road, but the man followed him. A surprising move, along with a surprising show of strength that you wouldn't expect from a man of that age, pushed the bike, causing both of them, along with the bike, to fall to the ground. Dude, what the f What the f What the f is your problem? You get this thing off of this road. What the f problem, dude? He then forcefully removed the bike's key, and despite what the biker said, the man took the key with him and went inside his house. The motorcyclist called the police, who arrived pronto and retrieved his key, setting him and his girlfriend on their way. Uh, it might be. I don't know. I need to check. Yeah. The deputy's on his way. I'm just close. Okay. Sheriff's office will be out here shortly. Perfect. CCTV from different angles captured an enraged group of bikers who chased after a dark green sedan in Melrose, California, in an extreme road rage. Upon catching up with it, punches rained down on the man as more than five bikers gathered around him. When they were done with him, they moved to another man wearing all black and gave him the beating of a lifetime. Done with that, the male gang members simply mounted their bikes and sped off like nothing happened. A policeman's attention was attracted to a road rage going down below. Looking down, he saw two black sedans, one in front of the other. Something had happened, and the two drivers were now standing outside arguing about something. There's a road rage incident just right there. Hey! Now's the time! Hey! Get back in the car! Grow up! The argument gained momentum as both drivers waved widely at each other, one of them turned to go back to his car, but hearing the words of the other driver, he came back and restarted the argument. The police officer kept shouting to shut them up, telling them to enter their respective cars and leave. Even though eventually complied, you could tell it was with reluctance. Sit down or you're gonna get arrested. Get moving. Get moving. Listen to the officer. Both of you, grow up. Come on, boys, move it. Everybody's a winner. In this video captured at a Santa Clarita drive through a long line of cars can be seen waiting their turn to place orders. However, something is going on with the last two cars. No one knows what started it, but the occupants of both cars started throwing stuff at each other. They threw liquids from water to juice. 
While they threw these things, they shouted foul words. One of the occupants in the front car came out and walked menacingly towards the female driver of the other car and threatened to hit her with the bottle in her hand. It took the intervention of the staff of the establishment to calm things down. Where people in these two cars can be seen throwing things at each other. This is in an in and out drive through They threw bleach, juice, water bottles, all of it going back and forth along with a lot of nasty language. This driver in Austin had his low beam on and his left turn signal was flashing, indicating that he was turning left. But the car in front of him just kept blinking his lights, as if warning him about something. The dash car went on its own and drove away. After a while, however, the same car that was weirdly flashing drove dangerously past him and tried to cut him off. The dash car driver decided to slow down to let him go in peace. Some drivers just behave ridiculously for absolutely no reason. This guy's dash cam captured a black Hyundai in front, and his rear cam was seeing another car behind. I'm just driving in bumper to bumper traffic. Just been sitting there until 4 15 talking to Scott. I was like, I don't that out. The guy was on a call with someone when, in a fit of rage, the Hyundai suddenly came to a dangerous halt, causing the dash car to almost slam into it from behind. Then, for no apparent reason, the Hyundai started brake checking. The guy showed patience. Any other person would have gotten out of his car to demand an explanation. I love you. Holy f Okay. What? Some f over here doing road rage. Oh, be careful. This car's dash cam and rear cam captured an accident that could have been avoided if either of the drivers had been a bit more careful on the road. The car in question tried to execute a left turn when the white sedan ran into it from behind. While some might be quick to blame it on the colliding car, it should be noted that no turn signal was seen from the first car. Sounds of doors opening were heard, and one can easily imagine what happened from there. Ever seen a road rage that turned into a brawl? Well, here's one. The traffic was congested as all the cars stopped at red lights. This video shows how two ladies attacked a blue Hyundai, beating the crap out of the other two ladies. One of the assailants could be seen using a club as a weapon, which she used to repeatedly assault the lady in the passenger seat of the blue car. The other lady got out and appeared to be trying to communicate with the other lady, but the fight simply progressed, turning into a brawl between the four ladies. Another driver had to come to the scene to attempt to ameliorate things. This extreme road rage happened in Florida. An incident happened between the SUV driver and the tow truck driver. No one knows what happened, but both drivers seem extra mad. This incident happened somewhere in South Florida. There was some road rage between this tow truck and this SUV. I don't know how this started, but these two drivers are behaving absolutely mad. All of a sudden, as if some umpire blew a whistle, both drivers immediately take off at high speeds, swerving carelessly between cars and switching lanes. One would think they were street racing. They come up on a red light, and the SUV driver gets out, seemingly ready for some real action, but the tow truck driver drives away. Look at how crazy they are swerving between lanes.
This is one of those videos when road rage goes beyond mere road rage and turns into something like a murder attempt. The video shows two sedans, one white and the other black. The black sedan driver gets out of his car and walks back towards the white car behind him, executing a shocking move by breaking the windshield. The other driver begins to back away, like he doesn't want any trouble. However, what happens next is shocking. The white sedan driver moves as if to run over his assailant. Then he makes a crazy U-turn and rams into the car from behind. He backs away again, but as the other driver tries to enter his car, the white SUV rams into it from the side and continues that a couple of times before leaving. This video is a stunning case of road rage between two drivers who wouldn't let the other pass. The incident was captured by the dash cam of another vehicle. An SUV attempts to overtake a white sedan and go on his way, but he hits the side of the sedan. The sedan driver isn't having it as he forces the SUV to the side of the road, nearly causing it to topple over. The driver of this silver Honda carried out a road rage that doesn't make any sense at all. For some reason, he moves to drive in front of the dash car and slows down ridiculously, driving at 20 miles per hour on a highway with a 65 mile sign. This Honda decides to take its sweet time and has a road rage moment equivalent to a toddler throwing a fit. He then carelessly slams his brakes, causing the car behind to bump into him. His driving is so ridiculously slow that other drivers are speeding past him on the illegal side of the road. When the dash car driver tries to change lanes, the Honda goes forward to block his escape. What do you think about this? The driver of this black Chevrolet must be either a daring person or a person who got carried away by something. He is directly in front of a truck but he isn't moving, even though the truck is honking so loudly. The truck driver gets out and approaches the Chevrolet, banging on his window and gesturing for it to move. The car remains still until the truck driver yells at the driver. It is only then that the driver snaps out of whatever he was thinking about and moves to join the traffic. On a very busy road, the dash cam of a car captures a red truck trying to cut off the car, almost making it ram into a pole. The red truck driver gets out for a road rage. Okay, we're driving on a busy road. Red truck tries to cut and switch lanes, cuts off the driver, car is bouncing. Driver gets out, has some road rage. We hear a slam on the window. Car starts pulling away. This car starts pulling away, he runs and gets in the car, wow. We hear a slam on the window as both drivers are probably arguing about something. All of a sudden, the red truck starts moving on its own into the main road. 
the road rager has to swallow his anger and chase after his runaway truck. We hear a slam on the window. Car starts pulling away. His car starts pulling away, he runs and gets in the car, wow. A group of people were in a car filming a road rage between a red car and an SUV. It turns out that they had a mild collision before. After stopping, the SUV decides to make a run for it, but the red car driver isn't about to let go. He chases it after the SUV overtakes it and rams into it from the side, causing it to almost flip over. The SUV driver cannot believe the accident he just narrowly escaped, which made even his airbag come out. He comes out of his car, but the other driver loses interest as he drives away. This is a case of extreme road rage. The truck illegally overtakes the car, causing the vehicles on the other side to drive off the lane. We have a case of insane road rage going wrong in this video. The truck illegally passes the car and forces the other lane to drive off the road. This is the best. The white car then realizes the truck driver is completely trying to kill him and decides they should then pass oh the truck. God. The white car, realizing that the truck was messing with him, decides to pass the truck, but the truck driver has his ego and completely refuses to let this happen. He keeps switching lanes, preventing the car from passing it. The truck driver has his ego and doesn't like this at all. He completely drives out of the lane to screw with the car behind him and nearly causes another accident. The video was filmed by a driver in Moscow. The driver of the white Porsche attempted to weave through traffic, but was largely unsuccessful. He became impatient and tried to cut off the Toyota in front of it. This guy was driving in Moscow when he filmed a wild road rage incident. The driver of this white Porsche was trying to weave through traffic, but when he was unsuccessful, he lost his patience and attempted to cut off the Toyota in front of him. The Toyota driver refused to give up any space, which made the Porsche driver furious. In retaliation, he drove next to the Toyota and did this. The Toyota driver refused to give up his space, annoying the Porsche driver who got out of his car and started punching the Toyota's class, even breaking its mirror. Then he went back into his car. The Toyota driver rammed into the Porsche from behind, further enraging the already angry man, who got out and rained a few more punches at the car. Instead of exiting his vehicle, the Toyota driver waited for his chance and hit the Porsche from behind. Oh, this enraged the Porsche driver yet again, and he repeatedly hit the Toyota driver's window. The Toyota driver refused to partake in a physical altercation, which proved effective. This trucker got into a fit of rage for God knows why, and started attacking other vehicles by preventing them from passing through. He did some dangerous turns left and right whenever a vehicle tried to overtake him. After a while, a backup SUV baited him into making a huge turn that caused him to lose control and flip over, finally letting the traffic flow freely. This trucker had lost it and wasn't letting anyone pass him. He did some very dangerous movements left and right whenever a car tried passing him, not allowing the traffic to flow properly. 
Cars around him were honking and worried as new drivers arrived at the scene and were almost crushed by the trucker's rage. Finally, a courageous black SUV baited the trucker into a huge turn, making the semi-truck lose grip and crash. Everyone started honking to celebrate shortly after. What would have you done? This video was filmed in a traffic jam, and it shows why drivers should be patient. The video shows how other drivers tried to overtake the truck from the wrong side of the road, and that's when one of the drivers got furious. This guy was in a traffic jam when he filmed a great example of street justice. Some drivers attempted to overtake the traffic from the opposite lane and shoulder, so the truck in front blocked their way to ensure road safety. That's when one of the drivers got furious. And the angry driver in a yellow shirt got out of his vehicle with a bat and went to attack the truck driver, hitting his truck. Unfortunately for him, other truck drivers didn't appreciate his actions and got out of their trucks to confront him. This body cam captured a brief confrontation between two riders and a rather daring driver who was driving a white truck. One of the bikes made a U-turn behind the truck and pulled up to the side. The truck driver in a red shirt stepped out of his vehicle angrily and headed straight for the rider beside him, yelling at him to watch the road because he had his family in the truck. Hey, hell no, you ain't gonna tell me Look, I got kids in my mother truck. Did you see I don't care. I got that shit on goddamn camera. I don't care. No, bullshit, I don't want While the driver was talking, the second rider came up to him and headbutted him, still with his helmet on. A lady immediately rushed out of the vehicle and stood between the driver and the bikers. Hey, that oh, shit is boy, uncalled for. All I'm trying to do is watch All you're trying to do is kill us. That's your kid, boy. Where's your place? A man took to Instagram to share with his followers the dangerous nature of the road. As he drove, another car raced past him. In the live stream, the man can be heard shouting words at the other driver, yelling that he ran a red light. He's running red lights and all. This wants to die. He's running a red light. Then things took a turn for the worse as the man took out a gun and brandished it before pointing it menacingly at the other car as if telling the other driver that he could shoot at him at the slightest mistake. You want, bro? Who the f are you? This video shows road rage gone wrong. This red van cut off the black sedan. One of them, in a black and gray hoodie, was impatient enough to directly hit the passenger side glass of the van as they both yelled things at the van driver. But what they didn't expect was to suddenly hear gunshots from the vehicle, causing them to run for cover, with the guy in a hoodie holding his wrist and bumping into a moving vehicle. In a moment of very reckless behavior captured live on Instagram, a woman found herself in a harrowing situation that would go on to change the course of her day. Get out of the way! I'm gonna show you how to turn As she drove down the road, an argument escalated between the woman and another driver, leading to a heated exchange of words filled with shouting and cursing. Suddenly, disaster struck as the woman's car veered off course and collided with another vehicle. She told her followers she'd call back as she just got into an accident. Get out of the way! I'm gonna show you how to turn up on your birthday! Woo! I'm an accident and I gotta keep going, so I'm gonna call y'all a fuck back. I got to go, I got to go. Or oh, whatever, because I'm not stopping! In a very disturbing video of road rage, a man named Joey Calderazzo was enjoying a ride out with some friends in the Tampa Bay area when suddenly a sedan drove dangerously close to them is facing aggravated battery charges. The driver backed up his car by some meters, turned the wheels towards the bikers, and immediately ran them over, 
causing the bike to tip over along with the two people sitting on it. Both bikers sustained injuries, and later reports were that the unreasonable driver had been arrested. That's one and a half tons of automobile crunching up and over a motorcycle in the middle of Highway 41 near Tampa. The two riders barely escaped its path. And there was a driver on the road that was driving very erratically. Joe Calderazzo was out enjoying a Memorial Day ride with friends on his Harley Davidson when it happened. We just ended up pulling up next to him and started letting him know that uh, we were not pleased with his driving uh, skills. <laughs> and uh, that's when he decided he put the car in reverse, backed up about two feet, turned the wheel and just ran us over. Calderazzo escaped with only a broken leg. His friend Melanie, who was also on the motorcycle, was hospitalized overnight with cuts, scrapes, and an injured ankle. It was just one of those, I can't believe this just happened. Police arrested the driver of the car, Robert Paul Vance, and charged them with leaving the scene of an accident and aggravated battery. And police say Vance has been cited for multiple traffic violations in the past. They also say he admitted to hitting the victim and vehicle and leaving the scene. In an event captured on video, a group of people on bikes were steadily pulling stunts. And then suddenly, their stunt turned into a nightmare as a gray truck appeared, intending to run over the entire group of riders. The truck ran over one of the bikers, and it was then that the others began to take it seriously. A road rage began. The other riders sped up in an attempt to chase down the truck, but the truck suddenly stopped on its own and backed up, as if trying to run over the rider behind it. The bikes made way for it, but quickly surrounded it again. They drew closer to it, only to see the driver in a white shirt shouting insults at them. Just then, the truck abruptly sped up again, and this time, it became a chase as the bikers fled from it. Some of the men, now on their feet, still tried to approach the vehicle but ended up fleeing miserably when the truck headed for them. In the end, they couldn't do anything against the crazy driver, who, after causing such trouble, drove into the distance. A driver was going peacefully on a road in North Fort Myers, Florida. Then he comes across a scene. He saw a group of bikers gathered at an intersection. They were obstructing traffic, but they didn't seem to mind. Motorcyclists gathering at an intersection in North Fort Myers, Florida. He yells at them to stop blocking traffic. Hey, out of the way, you cannot block them. The man yelled at them, telling them to keep moving and stop blocking traffic. The men on the bikes completely ignored him. The man simply drove by, but what followed next was completely unforeseen. The group of bikers followed after the man in a hot chase. Every moment of it was captured by the driver's dash cam and his rear cameras. They eventually brought the car to a halt. Probably sensing trouble, the man came out of his vehicle holding a wrench for self-defense. However, he was overpowered. One of the gang members seized the wrench from him and proceeded to beat him with it. On a relatively calm night in Birmingham, CCTV captured a shocking video. A white sedan was trying to get onto the road and drive away when a flatbed truck passed it. But then, in a shocking move, the truck speared into the car in a red rose motion. Four armed hooligans jumped out of the truck and attacked the sedan. Another car drove in front of it, and more men came out. Then the hooligans came from other vehicles surrounding the white sedan. They were smashing the car with baseball bats and hammers. It looked like a planned ambush, and it probably was. This scene of road rage is quite frightening on one of Manhattan's busiest roads. The video shows a black Range Rover clipped a cyclist and didn't bother to stop, so the bikers surrounded the SUV, forcing it to a standstill. 
Surrounded, the individual in the car ran over one of the motorcyclists. The SUV took off, ramming into at least two bickers as it sped down New York's West Side Heeway. Inside the SUV was a man, his wife and their young child. When the bickers caught up to them, one of them ran up and opened the car door, but the SUV sped off again, knocking down another biker, and the chase intensified until traffic forced the Range Rover to finally stop. One of them got off his bike and he started attacking the person in the Range Rover with his helmet, breaking the windows. After they got him out of his car, they proceeded to beat him up. Road rage in Asia can make you decide to fly instead of drive. This burly man in white got off his bike and ended up in a serious fight with the barefooted driver. It is not certain what caused the brawl, but it was something serious. Oh, boy, accident ho gaya, boy. People gathered at the scene, but they were only watching it unfold. One of them started recording on his camera. After a while, the burly man had enough and got on his bike. But while he prepared to leave, another guy in a red shirt intercepted him and landed a serious punch in his face. Enraged, the man got off his bike again, and this time he was serious about the fight as he took off his helmet and gloves. The fight went all the way from one part of the road to another and to the market before the bikers began to disperse. Road rage in India is as terrifying as it can be. It's no surprise, considering the country's population. A video captured a biker cruising through and overtaking other vehicles. A few moments later, the scene changes completely as the next thing we're shown is a man surrounded by a group of bikers. The group were arguing about something with the man who didn't seem to want any trouble with them. One of the motorcyclists was holding his orange helmet in his left hand and repeatedly hit the man with it. The other guys were seriously slapping the elderly man who seemed to be apologizing for something. But it didn't seem as though his apologies were being heard as the guy with the orange helmet almost hit his head with it but was stopped in time by the others. A motorcyclist's body camera captured a video of an encounter between him and the driver of a red car. It was a road rage in the heights of it. As the biker sped past the car, they seemed to take offense at it and move dangerously close to the bike. The motorcyclist simply increased his speed and turned at an intersection. The car followed, with both men giving each other the middle finger. The road rage peaked when the driver of the red car violently waved his arm in an attempt to hit the biker. In the end, both men just sped into the distance. The dash cam of the car was on as this driver calmly drove on a very busy road. He saw a motorcycle coming straight at him and stopped. The motorcycle also stopped inches away from him and asked him to move out of the way. It should be noted that the road was very busy and there was hardly a place for a car to turn. Naturally, the bike should move instead but this biker had no intention to leave the road. He got off his bike and walked up to the car, asking the driver to move. He walked back to his bike and got on it. Camera, camera. Then he made a motion to move off the road, but in reality, he was just adjusting his bike to block the car even more. Then, as if in an attempt to provoke the shoulder, he raised his yellow collar and shrugged, still refusing to give way. A body cam captures two bikers riding down the road, and then, from nowhere, a black Chevrolet dangerously cuts them off. One of the guys on the motorcycle rode up to the car to let the driver know that he had done something wrong. The Chevrolet driver then began to tail the bike in front of him for a few blocks. The biker, having had enough, came to an abrupt stop causing the car to come to a standstill. He climbed down from his bike, and while his partner was scolding the driver, he simply went to the side of the car and popped the tires, letting the air out of them. Then he quietly walked back to his bike. A body camera captured a group of bikers touring on a freeway. 
there was a black sedan that attempted to overtake them. However, the bikers were not having any of it. One of them sped up to the front and crossed the sedan, then signaled for the sedan to move out of the way. Instead of moving out of the way, the black car sped to the front, forcing all the bikes to come to a halt beside the road. Naturally, the bikers were probably ready to brawl, but little did they know that the occupants of the car were not people to mess with. One of the occupants got down and went straight for the guy who had signaled them to move aside. He yelled at the guy who almost slapped his helmet off, but they weren't done with him. Another mafia guy walked up to him after picking something from the car trunk, yelling furiously. It was pretty clear that had it developed into an actual brawl, it wouldn't have been good for the biker gang. It took the intervention of a passerby holding a camera for the mafia to leave the guys on the motorcycle and return to their cars.